As a content creator, I have this issue. My mother language is Greek, but my content is mainly in English. As you can guess, I'm not a native speaker, so my English accent is really strong. How come you don't have an English accent? In fact, there are a couple of YouTube comments pinpointing this. But instead of allowing these comments to let me down, I decided to take action. I tried out different traditional methods that didn't work. Then I discovered Pronouns. Pronouns is an AI-powered English speech assistant. It offers various features to help language learners improve their pronunciation and speech quality. To improve my fluency, my first choice is the chat feature. What I do is select a specific practice scenario and a persona to discuss with. Hey Theodosis, what was the most memorable question you ever asked in an interview and how did you handle it? Well, I was tasked to inform them about my accomplishments and at that point I was a total newbie in the field, so I didn't have any experience let alone accomplishments. But eventually everything worked out really well as I got the job. That's awesome. Theodosis, it sounds like you turned a challenging question into a great opportunity. What do you think made them decide to hire you, despite being new to the field? As you just witnessed, I practiced my pronunciation creatively in a conversational context. I said whatever I wanted to and the AI responded, acknowledging my answers. Such a method is essential for improving one's speaking skills. Being able to practice in several real-life scenarios also gives relevance to the whole experience. Relevance is crucial because this is the only way to perceive the value of the activity. When I'm done discussing, I wait for a few seconds for pronouns to compile the conversation report. The report contains the cues. These cues make up a list of my misspoken words. It even corrected my grammar mistake. Mistakes, to be precise. See? It pointed out that I made three grammar mistakes while talking. And here are my mispronounced words. Let's see some. Okay, this is how I said it. Really? And this is the correct one. And now I can practice these words. Let's see an example. Lesson. Your life could be like an open book if you just learned that lesson. A lesson in humility is always a good one. And so on and so forth. Mastering English is more than just speaking. Stick around, because later in the video I'll also give you some resources to greatly improve your essay writing. Then there is the read aloud feature. I use it when I want to practice something specific and see how well I narrated it. This is especially useful in the case of YouTube videos. When the reading aloud is over, like with the previous feature, I receive a similar report that contains all my misspelled words, which I can practice till I get them perfectly. The case feature not only allows me to practice my intonation and pronunciation, but my speaking skills in general. Circumstances. You have just completed a tough project and you are really pleased with the performance of your team. You want to express your gratitude to your project manager who headed the team and guided everyone smoothly through the challenges. Hey Theodosis, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to everyone on the team for all the hard work you put into this project. It's been a roller coaster, but we made it through in one piece, thanks to the collective effort. How does everyone feel now that it's over? Indeed, it was a tough ride, but we managed to get over it. So I'm pretty excited that the team cope up with the task. I'm thrilled to hear that. Theodosis, your positive energy and determination were truly infectious and played a key role in keeping the team motivated. It means a lot to hear you acknowledge the effort everyone has put in. Unlike the chat feature, which is open and allows you to steer the conversation wherever you want, the case feature assigns you an imaginary role and then asks you to respond to a specific scenario. Same as the chat and the read aloud features, when you are done, you receive a detailed report of your errors, indicating the words that you need to focus. This was Pronounce, an AI tool for improving how you speak English. 
but learning is more than just speaking. You need to be able to write as well. So, if you want to write great essays, check the two links shown on your screen. Till the next time, see you!